Has your child never had difficulties calming down when they're upset or struggle to control their emotions or behaviors? Well, if so, you're not alone. And that's what the focus is on this fourth week of the YouthNet Life Tools group. Today, we're going to be focusing on self-regulation and how mindful movement can help us regulate our bodies, control our emotions and behaviors, and help us notice when our bodies are sending us signals that we may need to take a break to calm down or maybe take a break to refresh and stay focused. What we're going to talk about today is the tool that we use related to mindful movement. It's a simple self-regulation skill that we focuses on how we are able to control our breathing and our heart rate. The goal of today's group was to develop an understanding of the brain-body relationship to help your child become better at identifying the signals their body is sending. So today, we observe the mind and body connection by measuring your child's heart rate. We engaged in different activities to help raise that heart rate, and then also we checked how long their heart rate was and how many beats it was, and we tracked it over time to see were we able to calm down and were we able to control our heart rate, which also then helps regulate our bodies. And it helps show mastery over that they can do it. They have the skills and the power to help them calm down. They just need some tools and some examples of how they can do that and support in doing so. So what we looked at today is we talked about signs that we may notice when our heart rate is increased. We may feel sweaty, our face or our body may get warmer, our cheeks may be flushed. And we talked about when we start to notice these signals, this is our body giving us clues that we should take charge of our emotions instead of letting our emotions control us. And when we let ourselves control our emotions instead of our emotions taking control, we're able to think more clearly, make better decisions, and able to calm down faster. So what we did, as stated as above, was we did different activities and we through controlled breathing. We focused on how we could slow our breathing down, which ties into some of our settling in activities. And when we reassessed our heart rate, it was lower afterwards. And that helped show that we are in control. We can be in the driver's seat of controlling our emotions without letting them control us. So our life tools tryouts for this week, it's not homework, it's set and you don't get a grade. It's something to consider using in your home with your child. When the tools are used at home, they become habits for your child. So the first tool to encounter using at home is related to focusing on that mindful movement. We look at that mindful movement. It's helping us control our breathing and heart rate to better manage our emotions and behaviors. We also talked about reminding your child how they can lower their heart rate if they become stressed. And you can also raise your heart rate when you need a short break to refocus. And what we can do is practice paying attention to our heart rate and our body reactions feeling warm, sweaty, heart racing, blushed cheeks, and engage in activity that involves mindful movement. Also continue to discuss mindful breathing, noticing when your heart beats fast and your body starts to sweat, maybe before a test, and practicing mindful movement when you start to feel tired by refocusing. The last tryout is also focusing on those three good things. When we keep doing the three good things, it helps us feel better, it improves our mood and our behaviors, and it also notices that you're noticing the good things about your child as well. Thank you so much for your time and listening within the recap of our Life Tools group. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions, comments, or if you'd like to brainstorm on how we can best solve anything that's going on at home or how we at YouthNet can help best serve your child. Thank you again for your time, and feel free to stop by on Tuesday nights um, to see the group review the tools, and meet with myself. Thank you.